Government's poverty alleviation program, LEAP, currently offers cash handouts to some 330,000 households in the country, which represents an estimated 1.65 million people. There are, however, an estimated 750,000 more poor Ghanaians who are not beneficiaries. One of them is Yaya Kwanji, a resident of Sambona in the northeast region. She's aware of the LEAP program and knows some members of the community where she lives who are given the cash handouts and would wish to be added so she could meet some of the bare necessities of life. For her, such stipends may help her add fish to her banco and get some kosi as well when she drinks her porridge. Her lifelong ambition, though, is being able to sleep on a mattress. That, for her, is what it means to make it in life. Jojo Kovina has the rest of the story. In the heart of Sambonan, a community in the northeast region is Jaya Kwanjit, an old lady who does not know her age. But she firmly maintains that she's way younger than she looks currently. She blames poverty for draining all youthful juices in her, leaving her blind and old. She lost her sight after giving birth to her second child. Yaya lost her husband and recounts everything took a downward turn. She tries to define what poverty means to her. Poverty is when you depend on people for everything. Poverty is when you want to eat banku and fish, kosi, drink malt, and any other drink. But you don't have the means. That is what I consider poverty. In fact, her two sons travel to southern Ghana in search of supposed better living conditions, but only one visits her occasionally. Many times she is left to battle life alone. She cleans and does many domestic chores all by herself. The children in the community support by fetching water for her. She groves for her stick, getting ready to prepare breakfast. <laughs> She plants her own okra and periodically gets maize from her son and sometimes people in the community. But there are days that Yaya Kwanjit goes without any food. There are days I have nothing. Sometimes the people in this community are seem I'm okay. Those are the days I have nothing but depend on water. God always sees me through. Although she has not seen a second son for several years, she holds no grudges. Rather, she blames his long absence on poverty. My son was very young when he left. This community is very poor. He had no choice but to leave. I learned he has a family down south, but he has never contacted me. I don't blame him. I know life is hard down south. Out of 330,000 households and 1,650,000 individuals captured under the Livelihood Empowerment Against Poverty Program to receive cash support, she was not captured. In fact, out of 2.4 million people identified as extremely poor in Ghana, 750,000 of them are not on the LEAP program. Her National Health Insurance Card has also expired 
and she does not attend the hospital when ill. Yaya is thankful to God for good health, but she wants her insurance card renewed also. She has been sleeping on the bare floor all her life and rarely sleeps on a mat. But Yaya has one last wish before she dies. Before I die, I want to also sleep on a mattress. Now, I don't even have a mat. And the only thing I want is a mattress. To improve her life, the East Gonda district should strongly consider visiting her and capturing her on the Lee program. She is grateful that a new steam vested her and sends us off with a prayer. Georgia Kobna, Joy News. Well, uh, just as you're reacting to the story, many people have reacted to it. It was first uh, shared on the 6th of March Independence Day. It's received over 100,000 views on the Joy News Facebook page and still counting. There are over 8,000 comments, over 2,000 shares it has received. So you can uh, go to Facebook and also share your comment. But the storyteller joins us on the line, uh, Jojo Kobina. Uh, Jojo, tell us why you first of all told the story. Well, um, I was very fascinated by her story. Um, I was with one of the indigents um, of Sambona, of the um, Bimoba, Bimoba land. And then um, she told me that there was this old lady who had nothing. And so it, it, it sounded like an ordinary story, but I decided to follow follow up. But what really um, touched me to tell the story was that during the Hamatan code, um, she had no door and she had no one to cook for her. And, and so I decided to go there myself to witness um, events there. And indeed, when she saw us, um, she was excited. When, when she was told that people had come and they have cameras and they're going to put it on TV and, and then she was excited. So she went through her daily ritual. I mean, things that, that, that she's been doing every time. I mean, fetching her own firewood and then lighting it up, cooking and groping for her stick and doing virtually everything by herself. And so that was what, um, um, I mean, touched me and captured me. But I'm, I must say that those this point... Uh, point in the interview when I, I inquired what poverty meant to her, then then she started saying that, well, when you want to eat bangkung, you want to eat fish, you want to eat rice, you want, but all you have, all you can eat is cheeses and okra without any fish because, because that's you don't all have she to. grows. And so that was that was what really touched me, and then I saw that the, 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 her story must be told. Mm. And there's help coming through uh, through for her, Jojo. Tell us yes, what people have been saying. Yes, quite a number of people have been inundated with phone calls um, um, this morning. And, yes, and, and yesterday, someone donated and bought some items. Uh, many more people are very um, touched by the story, and they want to make sure that she receives her dying wish, uh, good mattress, and then, um, I mean, money for the various foods that she, she's been talking about, the rice, and then, I mean, fish, and then all the food that she really wants to eat. And so um, I, we, we're still receiving the, um, the financial um, support so that we can send it to her. Um, hopefully, hopefully next week, I plan on going there in two weeks' time, but the number of calls, I, I, I feel that she has to enjoy her, her wish before anything happens. And so... We want. I want to go there next week and then present the items to her, and then tell her the good people what the what the good people of Ghana have done. Jojo, this her. is such an incredible story. She's an amazing person. Uh, she doesn't have much, but she's very grateful, and she has a very little wish. Why yeah. mattress specifically? 
I, you know, when you look at the room that we shot the video, you see that there was, there was nothing on the floor, bed floor. So I was thinking that she had a mat that she slept on, and, and she said that she had no mat. And, and so it was just pieces of cloth that she, I mean, she would put, lay on the bed floor, and then she would lie on it sometimes. And then many times she has no soap. So she said, well, many times she has no soap, so she doesn't wash her clothes. And then she would be without, um, um, she would be wearing dirty clothes until someone comes to give her soap. And so all those little things, looking at the, the simple, the dignity, how we take certain things for granted. You rely on the bed, we have masks, we have, and we have various kinds. We have the um, standard, we have the hard ones, we have the, all the various kinds of mm. mattresses that we have. And a woman just, and all she needs is just, is just to lie on the mattress. Mm. Something to something support her back. And I felt that it's the bare necessity of life. And I, 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 I was really touched. And that's the reason why we, 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 we amplify, I amplified her, her, her plight. Well, Jojo, thank you for sharing the story with us, which is receiving a lot of reactions. Uh, we thank the cameraman and the driver as well. So let's quickly share some of the comments on Facebook on this particular one. Nana Tutu Abwako, for instance, says, tears flowed at the point she was lighting the matches to set fire to prepare food. Oh, God, forgive me if I have ever been ungrateful. Solomon also says, I can't watch this anymore. How can we contribute and help? Nothing is too small, nothing is too big. That's exactly what people have been doing, even without ask first, asking for it. So we hope that this story inspires you so you can reflect on what you have and be grateful as well. Well, stay with us. Daryl Kwao will bring us details of the story. The Bank of Ghana is extending the deadline for mobile money operators and fintechs to meet capital requirements. Business is up next.